Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin. Good morning, by the way. Yesterday, we got the last ship parts in the Distant Spring, and in a surprise turn of events, I got to show you me defeating the Smoky Prog. Now, look at this. Distant Spring, 10 out of 10 ship parts. The Forest Naval, um, 9 out of 9 ship parts. And the Forest of Hope, 8 out of 8. And now, the last area that we can access, the impact site. 1 out of 2 ship parts. Let's go ahead and head on in, back to where this LP started. So, as you can guess, because we only have one ship part to get, um, this is day is going to be mo focused mostly on, um, on Pikmin harvesting. And you can see that there are a bunch of pellets everywhere, so that's actually a good idea. Now, to start things off, I'm going to get 33 yellows. Here are my 33 yellows. And I'm going to get 33 reds. Here we are. And here are my 33 reds. And I'm going to grab 33 blues. And 33 blues. Or 34, actually, because we can carry, we can have 100. Okay, now, let's go ahead and get some pellet posies. Now, today, again, it's going to be focused mostly on getting new Pikmin. However, there is going to be some other stuff, too. Like, there's a bonus enemy in this area that wasn't here last time we were in the area. And there's other stuff here now, as well. So let me throw those Pikmin up here, and let me ride this geyser up to this second level, where there are three number 10 pellets. And once they reach the top, I will grab all of them, dismiss that one down there, and then I will put all of them, as many as I can, on this pellet posy. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and speed throw some, well not speed throw, but I'm going to throw some Pikmin on these posies, and they can carry those. There we go. And there we go. Now I have these Pikmin. Now let's go ahead and put them on something else. Uh, those po those pellet posies up there, maybe? Actually, no, I'll dismiss them. And this is the fourth time we've seen this text box in the game. Game, really. You don't have to put this up every time. We've seen the text box saying that we can only have 100 Pikmin in the field probably four times now. All right, now let's ride this geyser up. And we'll have the yellows grab their 10 posy. There we go. And let's go ahead and put them on that. And there are going to be some Pikmin left behind. There they are. So let's go ahead and throw these guys on this posy right here. And on these. We're going to be getting more Pikmin today probably than we've ever gotten in one day before. So yeah, that being said, this is going to be a very gathery episode. Now, let's go ahead and grab these reds. Once this goes by, there we go. And have them grab their 10 posy. Uh, put them on this. And put these here. And let me go on the geyser. And dismiss them. And once they're up, I will... Actually, no, I don't even have to touch them. This is going to the red, right? Certainly it's going to the red. Better go to the red. Uh, get, no! It's going to the yellow, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, it's going to the red. I had nothing to worry about. Though it took a very roundabout way that kind of fooled me in thinking it was a yellow cat. It was going to the yellows. All right, let me whistle everyone. I have everyone except stragglers, but they're just around their onions. Okay, you don't really have to worry about stragglers as much here. Okay, um, I'm saying okay a lot. Whoa, Flint Beetle! I don't care about you. You can throw. I'm not sure if I've explained this before, but you can throw Pikmin on him to get him to drop stuff. And wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, I was about to pause and look at my guide, but okay, it does spawn. Okay, this is the Gulix. Now, it can harm non-blue enemies, but because, uh, non-blue Pikmin, but because it is water, blue Pikmin, don't take, ow, you do. Come on, lead him away this way. Okay, come on. Now, um, if you attack this, yeah, this pinkish sphere, uh, it will do damage to him, but... If you attack the blue, ow, the blue sphere, it looks like it does hardly anything, but actually it does. What it does is it maximizes, it multiplies the amount of damage that occurs when um, you hit the yellow sphere. 
see, like, watch. Um, if there were no Pikmin hitting that, I hit the sphere, it wouldn't do that much damage. But by hitting the sphere, it does a lot. So that's one of the few enemies, a uh, few secret enemies of this game. There are only three. All right, let's go ahead and split this up. Uh, there are bomber somewhere. Actually, I'm gonna whistle these guys and throw them up here. Twenty pellets. All right, uh, there. I need to focus on the ship part today because that is that is still the main priority. Even though it uh, Pikmin harvesting is a is another priority. Oh, bomb rocks. That's what I needed. All right, you. What are you doing? <laughs> he was like holding the wall. That was strange. What was he doing? Okay, whatever. Okay, you guys charge up here and. Let's go ahead and destroy that wall. I think it's one of the weak walls, so that should be fairly easy to destroy. Let's speed throw Pikmin onto this. Uh, all five? Okay. Barely made it out. That's That was close. Okay, so you can speed throw five Pikmin on. Maybe six if you try hard. Alright, there are the Pikmin, and let me dispose of this bomb rock. Because uh, that's going to be dangerous. Bomb rock, where are you? Where's the bomb rock? Okay. It disappeared. Whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and swarm Pikmin onto this. I don't really care about colors. Let's just swarm them. And let's... Ooh, 20 pellet. Ooh. I, I kind of feel like I'm a kid in a candy store because look at all these pellets. They're everywhere. All right. Uh, reds. Okay, I do have enough. Now, once again, uh, the pellet goes to whichever Pikmin is the majority carrying that thing. So, though I may have... 15 reds carrying that 20 pellet. If I have four blues, it'll still go to the reds because most of the reds are carrying it. So let's go ahead and take down this gate. And while this happens, I'll circle around and grab the other squad because there is a blue pellet right there. Uh, we shouldn't need yellow Pikmin for the rest of the day. So I can put all of the ones at base away and take out blues because we do need blues for the rest of the day. So this is a very, very, very small area. So traversing it is actually really, really easy. So yeah. Okay, um, yellows, I'll put all of you away. We have quite a few now, which is, I'm really happy about that. And blues, we, ha we have more than we'd ever need, I can tell you that. 500 Pikmin is extremely impressive for a run where your goal isn't gathering Pikmin. If you had all 30 days and you did nothing with it but ga um, gather Pikmin, you could get more. But 500, when you're not even trying, is extremely impressive. I'm, I'm very happy with that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and climb this box. Now, as the cool thing is, is because I'm not actually, you know, this isn't a very stressful day. I get to talk about things I didn't get to talk about in the LP. Like, uh, like you know, just random stuff, which is really nice. Like the scenery of this area. It is a very beautiful game. And I, I kind of wish that they had made more Pikmin games on the GameCube just to show off how powerful it is. Or not how powerful it is, but how beautiful they could make the graphics. I mean, obviously these aren't Wii U graphics or Wii graphics, but they're very good. Especially that water. That water's very impressive. Alright, we have a new enemy here. Uh, I have... Let me pause. Alright, sorry for the cut there. I just had to look up what these enemies were called. These are the Pearly Clamp Clamps. These enemies can kill a lot of Pikmin very fast. As you can see, if you throw Pikmin on it, it will clamp down. Hence the name. So you want to speed throw Pikmin to do as much damage as you can, and then whistle them back. I could have kept them on there for longer. Okay. There we go. Whistle, 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 whistle. Okay, good. Now, one more run. Actually, no, whistle, whistle. No, I lost a ton. I lost, I lost 10. Okay, that's fine, because actually... Okay, I, I've gotten a lot of Pikmin today, so losing 10 is fine. Okay, I can, I can kill this guy. He's dead. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I found the Positron de Generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity. With a time uh, What a timely find. Those internet space noodles will taste better heated up. Yes! Okay, uh, one thing I didn't mention is that they will still... They will still live, even after you've taken the thing that's in the middle of them. And so, yeah, be careful of that. Be very careful of that. So, uh, let me throw... Let me put all my Pikmin on this, because we have enough time. Now, obviously it's not normal for them to be having a, a pearl, uh, ship part in, in their mouth, so they have a pearl normally. And that pearl will give you 50 Pikmin. 50! 
So it's very worth our while that we get these. Okay, let's have more Pikmin carry that. And there's the ship part for today. Uh, let me circle... No, I'll wait. <clears throat> I'll wait till the Pikmin are back. Let me put more on this to speed the process. There we go. Hurry up. Now, th now, have I gone over this? If you if you have the same color Pikmin, um, if you give a pellet posy to the same color of Pikmin that the pellet posy is, um, you'll get twice the number, twice the amount that is shown on the face of the pellet posy. I'm not sure if I ever explained that before. Positron generator. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you you'll get a, an electric shock. Twenty nine of thirty. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The ship looks beautiful. Hopefully this won't automatically end the day. I didn't think about that. No, it won't. Okay. There are 40 Pikmin for us. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the yellows away. Yellows, go away. No one needs you. We have 137. I'm very satisfied with that number. Now let's continue on. Now we're going to need reds and ye uh, reds and blue because I want to take out both pearly clamp clamps and I want to give the pearls to each color. Uh, let's let me zoom out. Okay, we have one straggler there, but no no one anywhere else. Good. Okay, let's take out the one on land first. Let's go over here. Dismiss them. I'll grab just the reds. Okay, ready. Set. If you throw them on top of the pearl, it'll do more damage, I'm pretty sure. Whistle. Whistle. Okay. Oh, how'd he die? He was behind him. Okay. Whatever. Whistle. There we go. And one more should kill him. But be careful because they don't quite die. Whistle. Oh, and also, they will con if they're at a very low health, um, they will continue to lose health um the longer well okay if if you it's very hard to explain uh let me just read it um if okay well oh yeah oddly okay let me read it let me clo quote it from Wikipedia. oddly the cl the pearly clamp clamp has been known to take slight damage for a short amount of time after the pikmin have been called back meaning that if the creature all is already near death, the player can simply re withdraw his or her Pikmin, and the Clamp Clamp will die on his own, so that's really nice. And it's not technically dying, you're just freeing the pearl from it. Okay, this one's a little bit harder because he's on a hill. So, yeah, just be careful. Actually, it'd be better to get on this incline right here. There we go. It's also harder to speed throw because of this. S grab them back! There. And throw. There we go. Whistle! I my, I missed the B button, so that was a little bit close. Okay, these guys should be enough to take it out if we draw them a second before it actually dies. No, 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 it isn't. Okay, this should be enough. Now, start throwing them now, and this will be enough. Uh, not quite. Just a, just one more pick, just one more Pikmin would do it, but I'm going to throw a couple. There we go. And there it is. There are our 50 blues. Now, we lost, like, what, 10, 10 Pikmin today? But that is fine, really. We've gotten, we've probably gotten, like, 300 Pikmin today. So that's very, very good. I'm satisfied. Now, let's go ahead and go back to base. Uh, pick up this straggler, which is right here. And actually, come on. Let's go. Okay. I'm going, th this isn't, I'm going to be showing two days today. I know that's a little bit odd. But I'm going to be showing two days today. Well, I did show two days yesterday, technically. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing um, this day tomorrow. Because one thing I didn't, I don't think I mentioned. The the um, Gulix appears um, on or after day eight, but only, uh, day nine, sorry. But only on odd number days. Now you're probably thinking, only on odd? That's kind of specific. It's a little bit odd. <laughs> Um, what about even? On even number days, a different and a different unique enemy appears, and I'll be showing that one at the end of this day. So I won't be wrapping things up just yet. And um, I've seen LPs where they dedicate the day where they show the other enemy. Um, they just end it as soon as they show it. But I'm actually going to get I'm gonna harvest more Pikmin because I want to have as many Pikmin as I can, and I don't want any days to go to waste. So let me go and harvest everything I can. Let me make sure I have no stragglers. 
No stragglers, good. I just need to pluck the other Pikmin. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on this pellet posy. There we go. Carry that. And let me pluck these. Pluck. Countdown's going to come any second now, but I am prepared for it. Very, very good. Whistle everyone, and whistle everyone here. Now, there's some up there. Um, I'll, I'll throw as many Pikmin as I can up there. There we go. Nope. Whistle. Whistle. Okay. Good. Ah, uh, one. There. Now, there we go. We have gotten a lot of Pikmin. We have gotten almost, like, 300 Pikmin today, I think. I believe. Carry that faster. And there we go. Let me put all the Pikmin away. We got a lot of Pikmin today. 256 blues. Let me look at my reds. And this is... 280 reds. And as for yellows... 137. Wow. That's really, really good. Let me run as far as I can. Oh, I couldn't run very far. But yeah, there it is. That is our collectibles day. Now I'll show the end of day stats just so we can see what we did. You know, how many Pikmin we gathered today because I'm really curious to see myself. And also the journey journal entry. But after that, don't go just yet. There's one more unique, unique enemy I'd like to show. And it's back here. And I'm not actually going to be skipping it like I did the, um, the Smoky Prog like I did yesterday. Um, the only reason why I did the Smoky Prog on a backup file and not this file is because I knew that I'd be losing quite a bit of Pikmin and I frankly didn't want to risk it. 11 days since impact. At last, but a single part remains. Since I've recovered 29 of the missing parts, the dolphin's power is near capa the dolphin's power is near capacity. In the forest depths below, I see a region where the final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. My life support system fails in 19 days. Courage! We sprouted... Okay, close to 300. We sprouted 234 Pikmin today. We lost 11 Pikmin in battle, but... <laughs> compared to 234, I, I am fine with that. Uh, we have 275 reds, 137 blues, and 262... Sorry, 137 yellows, and 262 blues. We have 29 ship parts, one part remaining, and 19 days left to get it in. But, I'm not going to start the out actual outro stuff until just one second. Here we go, and... Normally I would save in between episodes, just in case you guys want to know how I do it. But, oh, and also here's the last area, the final trial. And you see that now there is a, um, what is that? What is it called? Starstorm? I'm going to call it Starstorm. Shooting stars, that's what they're called. We have shooting stars over there. And they disappear when we do this, but they appear when we do this. Or don't they? Okay, I guess they don't. So the final trial, but we're not going to that yet. We're going to go back into the impact site where there is one last unique enemy besides the last enemy in the final trial. Let's go in there and I am dedicating this day to gathering Pikmin. However, I'm gather I'm dedicating it to gathering yellows. So we're back. Now, I'm sh this is a long episode and I know actually, wow. Um what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the enemy but then I'm going to gather everything that I gathered this last day or this this episode. So I'm going to grab um, I'm gonna grab 33 yellows, and I can get everything, so, yeah, okay. Uh, just a second, I'm gonna cut to where I get all the pellet posies and where I was, uh, be right before I showed the gulix, basically. So, once I have all the pellet, the big pellet posies in the landing area, I will cut to that. Just, just a second. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> I'm back. I've actually gotten all of the pellet posies in this little area. And what are you doing? <laughs> they got stuck. And so, while I get these back, I will talk about the other enemy. Now, this enemy appears on even number days, but only after day... Eight. So, starting on day eight, and end it every even number day after that, he will appear. He is called the Mamuta, and actually, he's a very interesting pig- uh, not Pikmin. He's a very interesting enemy, because he cannot kill Pikmin. Can't kill him. Well, unless he glitch kills, but we're going to talk about what the game designers intended, and you stay out of my life. Oh, come on. Okay, just a second. Move away. Move away. Good. Okay. He cannot kill Pikmin. He swat- what he does is I'll throw- and I believe he won't attack you until you attack him. So he hasn't lost any damage, so he won't hurt me. There he is. Oh, one of my Pikmin attacked him. Okay. Whoa. Okay, and what he did there, you can see he swat him in the ground. Now, interesting thing is if you have all Leaf Pikmin, you can actually basically grind off this, because as soon as he swats them in the ground, they become Flower Pikmin, even if they're leaves, so that's really neat. Now, this guy, I'm going to go to Speed Throw. Now, he can hurt Olimar. Don't make any mistake about that. He can hurt Olimar, and he just flowered most of my Pikmin there. I'm going to go ahead and pluck while they... Actually, you know what? I'll dismiss them here. As they fight him, I will pluck my Pikmin. There. Now, I'll go ahead and pluck all of my Pikmin, because he, he put about 50 of them in the ground. So, yeah, and he drops... Let me look at my thing. <laughs> Sorry about this. He drops... Okay, it doesn't look like he drops man, much many Pikmin at all. It says that he drops only... Oops. <laughs> it says that he drops only 8. I kind of find that hard to believe, but that's what the guide says. Um, I can check the Pikmin 2 guide, because that may be more accurate. Let me... I'm mashing A. Pluck them. Yeah, the Pikmin 2 guide is probably more accurate than the wiki. Sorry, wiki. Um, it's... Okay, that's strange. The, wiki, the Pikmin 2 guide says he generates none. Maybe that's because he's only found caves, but... Yeah, so that's strange. If, if he drops something other than just 8... I mean, if he gives you something other than just 8, I will tell you on screen right now, but that's what the guide says, and that doesn't make any sense. Uh, let me grab two of those back. There we go. That's good. Now let me throw them on this, and I will meet you at the end of the day. Oh, actually, let me discuss the Mamuda a little bit more. Um, the Smoky Prog... <laughs> let me discuss the Mamuda. The Smoky Prog. Um, the Smoky Prog is thought to be a malformed Mamuda larva. So, that's interesting. Um, I'll, I'll show you... Olimar says this himself. We haven't seen the part in the game where that comes up yet, but Olimar does say this himself. So, yeah, when that comes up, I'll point it out. But, yeah, for now, just he's thought to be, be a malformed Mamuda larva, which is interesting. He does look a little bit like a Mamuda. The Smoky Prog does, so that's interesting. So, um, I'll actually meet you back at the end of this day and I will do the outro as I gather more Pikmin.
All right. Wow. Okay. Look at my Pikmin count. I have 964 Pikmin, and I have everything that's possible to get in this area. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the best area for collecting Pikmin in the game. So. Huh. We have, final count, we have 324 reds. We have... 289 yellows. And we have... 351 blues. Amazing. And I, I did cut back early because... I just, th this is the last day before we're going to the final area. The final area is very jam-packed. There's a lot to do, and... There, it, there's only one goal in that area, and that is to get the final ship part. So that's going to be very hectic. I won't be able to quite show how close we are to the end until the credits and then it will be already over so I'm going to do that now we've come so far it, it's been a good LP I didn't well it's been a very short LP so far and it is going to be short when by the time it ends it's go only going to be what 13 14 episodes I believe so it is going to be very short and because of that if I have mistold any information i'm sorry and or if i haven't gotten everything across i'm i am sorry but this is a very very short game so i'm not trying to make excuses if i missed anything but sometimes you know the game what's happening in the game takes priority over tutorial mode so yeah this game is coming too close Tomorrow, we're going to go to the next and the final area to get the final ship part. We have to hurry up, too. Because I would like to finish this by day 14. Possibly. Hopefully. And I think that's possible. So, next time on Pal Plays Pikmin, we'll head into the final area. Once again, if... The past few days have been full of my anger. You know, I have been very angry at this area because of how... Well, not this area in particular, but Pikmin, the game, because of how glitchy it is. Now, it is very glitchy, I'll give it that, but it is... It has a certain charm that I, I like more than Pikmin 2. It feels like you're in more danger. You know, your life is on the line. So, I like that. I've recovered 29 of 30 par ship parts. Just one more part to will increase the dolphin's capabilities. While confirming the ship's status, I've taken the opportunity to repair my spacesuit. I lost a few Pikmin today, but nothing too bad. I lost probably about four to the pearly clam clamps, or clamp clamps. So, there it is. I'm going to show the end of day stats just because, you know, just because... I want you guys to see how many Pikmin I gathered today, because I got everything that's possible to get in this area, so I'd like you guys to see what almost the max is. Um, because I didn't, this isn't the day with the Gulix, this is the day with the Mamuda, you, you're going to get, be getting less Pikmin than the day with the Gulix, because the Gulix drops four random pellet posies, and you can get over, uh, 60? No. Three times two, yeah, 60 Pikmin from that. Possibly, so, yeah. Or four, four times two, so, yeah, it's 80 Pikmin. Twelve days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances for a re reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will sw smile upon me. Yeah, I sprouted 294 Pikmin. Very, very good. We, in total, actually, was the counter off? I don't know. But in total, we have 1,000. Oh, wait, no, no, that's the total we've sprouted. Oh, okay. We have 964, but we've sprouted um, 1,079. If only that was one higher, then I could make a, a resolution joke. But yeah, we have 29 parts, one part remain, and 18 days left to get them all in. I release p new episodes of Pikmin 
Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And Skyward Sword, if that's still going on, is going on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, but because it's so far in the LP, pretty much every episode's going to be a long episode. In I wonder if the bonus ones have started yet. Anyway, just me reminiscing. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Pal Plays Pikmin. See you then.